A barely two weeks after Shanghai lifted a citywide lockdown, the Chinese commercial hub extended a ban on dine-in services at restaurants in most districts. Authorities also ordered fresh rounds of mass testing to contain a jump in COVID-19 cases linked to a hair salon. The return of strict movement control measures is expected to deliver a heavy blow to small and medium-sized businesses still reeling from the impact of the last lockdown. Lo Mimin reports. Leon Yang is still counting the cost of the Shanghai lockdown. The 35-year-old founded a high-end men's fashion boutique with shops in Beijing and Shanghai. He was just about to open a new store when the city of 26 million abruptly went into lockdown. Actually,我们开业倒计时也就是二十天左右,因为五一可能是一个消费高峰期嘛。the $15,000 in rental he had prepaid up to the end of May was lost as a result. He also missed the entire spring sales season, making at least half of his inventory, valued at $75,000, impossible to sell at regular prices by the time his shop opens in the summer. There's no telling that Mr. Yang's ordeal is really coming to an end even with the reopening. At this popular area in the heart of Shanghai, new barricades had been put back up just days after the lockdown was lifted. Many shop owners were looking forward to reopening their businesses after two months of closure, but they soon find that they are far from the end of the tunnel. Even without a citywide lockdown, China's strict zero-COVID strategy means businesses face the constant risk of being shut down whenever they are linked to a positive case or close contacts. The founders of this restaurant chain had planned to open a new store in each of the 16 districts of Shanghai in the coming years. They are uncertain now whether to go ahead with the expansion. This branch, located in a suburb of Shanghai, used to be packed on weekends. But now, business is struggling. It used to take up to two hours to get a table if one showed up without reservations. But random bans on dining in after the lockdown mean it's far from business as usual. Ranchal According to some estimates, China's SMEs provide about half of urban employment, and experts say they are bracing for a harsh winter ahead. Many companies will find themselves under huge stress of containing cost. They might want to contain all the labor, all their workers, um, but they need to cut unnecessary spending. So that means uh, maybe they will freeze new hires and uh, also do some rearrangement in their investment planning or other strategic planning. Um, and uh, that means we might be looking at a rebuilding period of uh, three to four months, and that will push us to October uh, and November this year um, before we see a really picking up of economic growth. The question is how many will survive to witness the recovery. Lo Min Min, CNA, Shanghai.